welcome to our little fireside chat. You might be able to hear the rain, occasional thunder. Don't be mistaken, we're still in Southern California. Let's have a quick talk about the fireplace. The last video that we uploaded, you got to see the time lapse of putting the frame of the fireplace together. That is welding together the metal portion that is supporting both the fireplace and myself right now. And it's a good sign that it is able to support us both. There's a couple things with the overall footprint of the fireplace that we wanted to talk about that we didn't really realize until after I welded this whole frame together. One is, we wanted it to be high, but we didn't realize what being this high would really mean. The fireplace is right behind the driver's seat. So when the driver is seated in the driver's seat, this is about head height. Heaven forbid there's a crash, the inertia from this sucker would go right through the driver and uh, crush them. And guess who the individual in this bus is who drives the bus? That would be me. I don't want to be crushed and I don't want anybody who ever has to drive the bus to be crushed either. So we're rethinking that one a little bit. I like the height of it because we can see it from all the way in the back of the bus. Uh, especially with the glass door, you'd be able to see the flame, and that's pretty nice. But there's the there's a safety issue, and that is uh, that takes precedent over everything else. So we're looking at ways to potentially reinforce the stand as it is, so that the fireplace will be very sturdy. Uh, running through a few thoughts there. If you guys have any suggestions, any good ideas. More, more brains on this is better than uh, the, the two we have, so feel free to toss out any ideas in the comments section. It would be much appreciated because I'm sure someone out there has a better idea than we do. Otherwise, it's looking like we might lower the stand a little bit or we might keep the stand and use it for something else and change the overall position of the fireplace and the bus, meaning we might move it more towards the center and keep it lower to the floor. Uh, not sure yet, but just because we welded together this frame, put all the effort in, doesn't mean it's necessarily going to look like this. Now, other than that, I'm really happy with the aesthetics of it. A few people mentioned to be cautious about the fact that we're going to have a window right here, and that is a good thing to be aware of because we don't want this getting too hot for the window. The distance here, I don't know if it's really uh, easy to tell in the video, the distance is a little over a foot. So it is a decent distance away. And what I did think about is potentially having a little slide that comes up as a heat shield. So we have that ad added protection should we need it. I'm not really worried about the window, especially if we do keep the fireplace this way, we would probably have a little fan to blow the heat towards the uh, middle and back of the bus, so it would be blowing the heat away from the window. And of course there's the heat shields on the, there's double and triple wall pipe for the uh, exhaust of the fireplace, and that of course has heat shields on it as well. The frame is going to have hardy backer on their cement board, which get, means that we'll have at least a one hour firewall if we go with just one layer of hardy backer. And then we would be tiling on top of that. So the frame will actually keep the heat away from the wood and it will have that one hour firewall. So we'll be good to go there. Uh, we'll have the air gap between the wood and the firewall and it should be safe. Should. We will consult family members who are knowledgeable in this sort of stuff because they're firefighters. So we will consult those who know what we do not know. That's the update around the fireplace. We'll show you a couple other things. So come with me this way. Come on. Yeah. Welcome to this side of the bus. We're now a few feet from where we were. Just giving you the quick update of these guys right here. We actually have installed quite a few of the roof deck supports now. 
And we're, I think I've talked about this before where we're using the half inch grade eight bolts, um, including grade eight washers, grade eight lock nuts, all the good stuff. So we've got that going in. This side is almost done. We have two to do in the back and we have three to do on the driver's side still, but we ran out of lock nuts and I feel like we didn't run out, we just lost them somewhere because that would mean that I miscounted and let's be honest, I don't miscount. So <laughs> I think we have them somewhere, but I'm gonna order some more next week. We're gonna finish that part of the project up. So we've got these going in. We've got these uh, corner pieces cut out. So that, was, that happened today. We've already showed you this on the driver's side. We're pretty much doing a rinse, wash, repeat type thing here. We're doing the same stuff, but on the passenger side. So the corner pieces, 16 of them got cut out. We got them installed and of course ran out of wood to metal screws. So once we get the screws and we're able to finish off the rest of the wood frame that is going over the metal frame for the windows, we will be able to start putting and get our nice corners going on this side. And from there, we'll install all the windows. So we have six windows left. We're, we should, let's take a little break and show you the time lapse of the back three windows going in because we did show you the install of the first window and that one didn't go so well. So you got to see, <laughs> you got to see the part that didn't go well. And from there, we did improve our process and the result was being able to put three windows in in one day. So we're rolling time lapse. It's looking good. You like the way it looks. Wow, we're going so fast. It's all moving along. Isn't this amazing how quick we're moving? I mean, come on. Have you ever seen a window go in this quick? It's beautiful. I know. The bus looks completely different. Also, a fun fact on the very back window, I slipped as I was cutting the metal for the hole of the window. I was cutting a hole in the sheet metal. Jigsaw started bucking. I slipped and cut my hand in two places, was bleeding everywhere. That's why during one of these time lapses, you might see Lauren runs out leaving her gloves in the <laughs> window because I was dying on the other side. I almost fell off the ladder, but still here, life is good. <laughs> Still here, yep. That was a long time for us to wait, let me tell you. 
The other thing we got done was installing the conduit on the ro over the Romex in the wall. That was uh, something that we've been wanting to do. We did. We ended up putting the blue flexible conduit on the driver's side, and we didn't do that on the passenger side when we installed the Romex. And it might not make much of a difference in the long run, but I felt that it would be a better thing to do in case anything needs to be taken out, replaced, whatever. It would be a lot easier to push some Romex through conduit as opposed to the channel that we had made in the foam. So all in all, we're happy with the conduit and it meant that we had to take the plywood off the walls to install it, of course, take a few steps back in order to move forward, but we also had to take the plywood off the walls to install the supports for the future roof deck, which, you know, we, we took off um, four sheets of plywood. It was pretty simple. And then we put the conduit on, put the roof supports on, put the plywood back. Not a huge deal, but it takes time. So glad we got that done. We're back to making more progress on the bus, more regular progress. So. We took a little bit of a break working on another project. Pretty cool. Another home on wheels. Yeah, another home on wheels. It's actually a, currently it, the uh, residency is being occupied. Yeah, by, by me. So we got that finished up and it's actually quite nice. Uh, still doing little bits of work here and there in the evenings, and but it's been really nice. and. It's also allowing us to work on the bus two days a week now. So we're back to cruising. We've got our to-do list and we'll be showing you more updates a little more frequently now. It's been a bummer that we haven't been able to get to it. Every time we come back, it, it feels like home. It's You open the door and it's actually getting pretty cozy in here. Even though it's raining outside, it's nice and warm in here and we could hear the rain and see the rain. Now we have windows and but we're warm and dry, so it's nice. It's good to be back. So look out for some more updates and... The last thing I was gonna say was, sorry if this video is wordy and I know there's a lot of, uh, I don't know what you would call them <laughs> in the world on YouTube that love to uh, pull stupid sh but anyways, you guys are miserable people, <laughs> so don't care. We really appreciate all our supporters. Sorry if this video is wordy. We're hungry, we're tired, and delirious because we've been working on the bus all day and running around, and of course we didn't eat, so now, now we're losing it, and we're thinking to ourselves, should we shoot a video, should we not? And you know what? We decided to shoot one despite our current condition <laughs> and uh, so we hope you enjoyed it but honestly if we talk too much I don't care so if you leave a comment like that it's gonna be deleted <laughs> so peace